Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about iOS 13 beta 3. Apple released iOS 13 beta 3 on July the 2nd. I didn't really have a chance to cover it for you guys. I was out on vacation but I'm back today and I did install it on release date so I do have a lot to share with you guys in regards to new features, changes, performance, battery, bugs, everything in between. So today let's go ahead and take a look at iOS 13 beta 3. So the first thing I do want to mention is iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users, Apple did not release iOS 13 beta 3 for you guys, unfortunately. So again, iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, iOS 13 is not available for you guys as of right now. I want to talk about how the device themselves feel. Again, I mentioned that I've installed beta 3 on the iPhone 10R, my primary device as of right now. For those of you who use the iPhone 10R, the difference on these display is that the iPhone 10S and 10S Max have a pressure sensitive display. So when you press and 3D touch on something, the feel is a lot more natural, if you will. It's more responsive. Now, what I've noticed with Beta 3 on the iPhone XR, which has the haptic touch display, uh, that it's turning into a sort of 3D touch-like feel when it comes to the taptic engine, when it comes to the uh, responsiveness of the device, how you feel when you peek and pop into the notifications, into images, when you just press on a notification, it behaves very similar to a pressure sensitive display like the iPhone XS and XS Max. Again, the iPhone XR has the haptic touch display, which is a long press that mimics what a 3D touch display would do. And what I've noticed over the last couple of days, the Taptic engine is responding very similar to what it does on a premium device like the iPhone XS and XS Max. And the actual toggles and turning on and off when you get a notification, the haptics, the, the Taptic engine just feels like it's performing a lot better on Beta 3. And when you 3D touch or haptic touch on the iPhone XR, the responsiveness is a lot faster is a lot better and it's getting right up par with the feel and performance of a newer and more powerful device like the iPhone XS and XS Max, believe it or not. So I'm very happy for that. This is also an indication that Apple could be getting rid of 3D touch in favor of haptic touch. They're definitely, definitely improving on the uh, sensations that you get when you press on an icon, when you press on notifications so that all displays feel the same. And I guess so we don't miss 3D touch if it is gone in the future. I'm kind of happy for that because the reason I don't want Apple to get rid of 3D touch is because of the responsiveness, how it feels, how the tactic engine and the software just gives you the feedback. So if they bring haptic touch apart, I'll be happy with 3D Touch being gone. So now let's go ahead and change our attention to features and changes within the software. As I mentioned, guys, I've been running it since it was released on July the 2nd. And I did run a poll on YouTube to ask you guys, how is the software running for you? If you installed it, we'll get to that towards the end of the video. You guys gave me a lot of feedback of issues and bugs that you guys have been having. I'm going to share my thoughts as well towards the end of the video. And we'll get to the poll here on YouTube that I ran a few days ago. And we'll talk about that as well. But let's get to some of the changes uh, that I've noticed within the last several days, uh, six or seven days that I've been using the software. It is 687 megabytes coming from beta 2 to beta 3. Of course, if you haven't downloaded the software, you can go to settings you can go to general and software updates and this will populate under software updates for you guys if you haven't updated already of course now the latest build number is 17a 5522f that is the latest for ios 13 beta 3 and i have a few screenshots here to remind me of some of the things that i've came across as i was using the software that i wanted to share with you guys so this is the control center extension right here so let's go to control center by the way this iphone is using beta 2 this one is beta 3 so if we 3d touch here on the camera, you see there that the portrait photo and portrait selfie is definitely different icons here on beta 3 in comparison to beta 2. So minor changes there within the control center. If we keep scrolling here, we have the audio indicator. So if we go to the audio indicator, we see that the iPhone icon on the volume indicator is a lot smaller in beta 3 in comparison to beta 2 as well. Now, a different splash screen here, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this uh, splash screen for notes, but it is definitely different for me. I've received a one before in beta 1, but this one was definitely different in beta 2. Other minor changes I've noticed within the software, a more refined dictation button microphone on the keyboard in beta 3 in comparison to beta 2. Let's go ahead and take a look here at beta 2. You see, there it is in beta 2. And there's what it looks like in beta 3. Very minor subtle change to the microphone on the keyboard, but definitely, definitely there. If we go to the iCloud settings, we no longer have subscriptions tab 
under your iCloud settings in beta 3 unfortunately I really hoped that Apple brings this back this just makes a lot of sense all your subscriptions all your family sharing find my friend find my iPhone all these settings should be here I believe Apple definitely removed the subscription buttons in beta 3 and they added the iCloud icon back into the actual uh, section right there which was removed uh, previously on a previous beta so minor change there as well now if we go here to some of the images that I capture uh, I did use my iPhone as I mentioned on vacation for a week I was in a swimming pool taking pictures and videos the iPhone did get wet and when I went to plug it in I have a new uh, notification prompt right this prompt has been here before but the look of the notification is slightly different we see here a charging not available prompt you see right there is telling me that liquid was detected on the lightning connection and it asked me to disconnect the cable in order for it to dry and, and you know just try a little bit later I did also get this prompt on the lock screen when I went to connect the device so you know minor changes there as well within the prompt for the liquid detection on the lightning port if you use your iPhone in water for a little bit of time like I did now other changes I've noticed is within the App Store if we go to the Apple arcades categories we now have more content to look at so there's more stuff definitely added to this category Apple plans to release Apple Arcade with a ton of games and I can't wait so now we can scroll through and see more content that Apple plans to bring to arcade here's beta 2 by the way so nothing to scroll through beta 3 definitely additional content has been added to this categories so I can't wait again we don't know when Apple plans to release this Apple Arcade but definitely coming with iOS 13 in the fall now let's go here to some of the images that I've captured I used the iPhone 8 for several hours on my vacation and I just received this prompt I think some of you guys have received this prompt as well you shared it with me on social media before but this is the first time I get it double tap with three fingers on your display will now allow you to undo text so if you're texting uh, you don't have to shake your device no longer you can double tap with three fingers and that will allow you to undo text in iOS 13 as well now one thing I've been having a lot of issues with is FaceTime making FaceTime calls and receiving FaceTime calls has been a pain in iOS 13 not to mention that I continue to have LTE and Wi-Fi problems as well when I make a FaceTime call it will switch back from LTE to Wi-Fi constantly and that would make the call drop disconnect and so on now if I took a screenshot here so you guys can see I was connected to Wi-Fi at the hotel that I was in it couldn't retain the Wi-Fi connection so it actually kicked me back to LTE but it couldn't even retain LTE connection properly either so definitely continue to have issues with LTE and Wi-Fi especially on the iPhone 10R which is my primary and definitely with FaceTime issues there as well now speaking of FaceTime I do have a new option that I want to share with you guys that Apple did add and that is FaceTime attention correction this will actually correct your eyes uh, attention on the video call so it looks more natural so definitely something that's a minor change but definitely improves on the quality of the FaceTime calls and hopefully Apple uh, will continue to improve this software has been very 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 buggy to be honest this has been the buggiest iOS 13 beta uh, compared to beta 1 and beta 2 unfortunately but definitely a ton of changes here as well now what I want to do is I want to shift my attention over to some of the bugs let's go over to my YouTube community page where I posted a day ago how is iOS 13 beta 3 uh, working for you guys is it great is it buggy or is it bad so far we have 5,700 votes and you guys submitted 135 comments which we'll get to some of those here in a few seconds but 27% have a great experience with iOS 13 beta 3 I envy you because buggy is leading with 65 percent i can definitely relate with buggy a lot of bugs a lot of issues a lot of crashes and a straight up bad for eight percent of you guys on ios 13 beta 3. now let's take a look at some of your comments here uh one of the top comments right here i think it was great but yesterday the iphone was freezing on youtube so definitely definitely can relate with that a lot of issues you guys have been having is dream buggy on ipad os 13 as well as ios 13 on the youtube application definitely can relate with you guys in that regard I've been having issues not only with YouTube but Instagram sometimes I want to upload a picture it wouldn't show anything I would try to watch something on YouTube it would crash and just overall uh, app compatibility issues definitely in beta 3 uh, no public beta yes definitely no public beta as of yet if you're a public beta tester I'll let you guys know on Twitter so be sure to follow me there when Apple makes iOS 13 uh, next beta available the beta 2 available I'll be sure to let you guys know for sure Here's 
here's a comment I can relate to as well. Screen rotation is so broken. Yes, I can agree with you. Screen rotation is definitely broken in iOS 13, uh, in Safari, in YouTube. I mean, you mentioned it throughout the entire OS iOS 13 uh, screen rotation is definitely broken. You would tap and untap it or lock it and unlock it and it will not rotate. Just a ton of issues as you can see here you guys have been reported again. App compatibility is a big one right here with WhatsApp application uh, you guys have been having issues with. Uh, you guys are definitely waiting for beta 4 as well as I am because beta 3 is definitely definitely a pain and just a ton of ton of comments here so if you guys want to see uh, what are some of the issues uh, with the applications, with the software, and what other users are reporting. You can always refer to this community poll here on my YouTube channel. A lot of you guys are definitely commenting and voting on this particular beta, and I can relate to a lot of the issues there as well. Now, unfortunately, uh, I, I didn't want to say this, but this has been also the worst uh, battery performance beta as well. I don't know what happened. Apple was doing so good, and all of a sudden, just a ton of freezing, a ton of bugs and issues, and battery life has also decreased I've been getting anywhere from seven to maybe eight hours of on-screen time I'm not sure why that is but yes definitely definitely our worst battery worst performance yes a lot of great changes uh, but we'll see what Apple will do with iOS 13 here in the near future of course you can uh, anticipate my follow-up video this is my initial coverage of course I didn't have a chance to cover this offer uh, in its entirety when it was first released as I mentioned on June 2nd because I was on vacation but we're back here now I'm going to be testing the battery on all my devices as I usually like to do I'll give you guys a follow-up on everything that I come across within the next couple of days using it on every single device here in the studio as I normally like to do I want to thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one peace